Let me begin by telling you a story, my story, the story of how I found myself lost without any sense of direction around the time of my 55th birthday. I'd already had two successful careers, the first in broadcast news, including a dozen years as an anchorman and senior correspondent at CNN. Then in my early 40s, I reinvented myself, initially as a leadership professor at a top business school, soon after as owner of my own executive education company. By my mid-50s, I was living with my wife of 30 years in the town of our dreams on the coast of Northern California. For all intents and purposes, I had won the gold medal of American life. I had health, love, and a bit of fame and fortune. And yet I felt totally lost, unhappy and irritable during the day, restless and haunted at night by unexpected new questions. What now? What should I do with the rest of my life? Welcome everybody, thanks so very much for being here. You know that great philosopher, Lily Tomlin? <laughs> I don't know whether you ever heard what she once said, all my life I wanted to be somebody, but maybe I should have been more specific. <laughs> well, that's really the way it was for me about seven years ago when I was in my mid-50s, and as you just saw, my life sort of hit a wall. I've learned an enormous amount since then. There's a lot of us here in this room and certainly watching this show, who I know now have had the same experience as I have of being sort of uncertain which way to turn in midlife and beyond. I know this in part because I've spent a big chunk of the last seven years studying us. There's a hundred million of us between about our late 40s and our mid 70s and tens of millions more like us all over the world. Something else I've discovered that if you're sitting here in this room or watching us on television, and you're saying to yourself, what is this guy Walton talking about? I haven't had this experience. Well, I'm willing to bet you that you will, maybe sooner, maybe later, maybe even a couple of times. So, edit all together, and my friends, this is the bad news. <laughs> if you're an intelligent, thoughtful, ambitious 21st century woman or man, Sooner or later, you're going to be lost, adrift in midlife and beyond. The great news is I've found a way home. I found a way to create a second half of life that is as exciting, is as rewarding, and is as profitable financially, emotionally, and physically as the first. And that's what this program is all about. It's about you. It's about transforming your brain unleashing your talents and realizing your boundless potential in life's new second half. The knowledge that we have is essentially, well, it's like a tree. Everything we know is hung on the branches of the tree. And as we age, there are more branches and therefore more things you can hang. We also always have within us the ability to step life up a notch to, in whatever we're doing. One of the things that I think inhibits a lot of people to change their course in life is they're afraid they won't be good at it. This is the thing that I try and punch when I go and, and talk to people about career change. You've got to take advantage of what you know, but then you have to get out there and do it. I'm totally clear that I can also keep growing and keep Im improving and developing capacities and that I, ha I will have more to give you know, the longer I'm at this. The boundless potential ideal is not just an abstract dream. Um, there, there are already all these people who are living out the future. Nobody can afford, either financially or mentally anymore, to just figure that the new track of life is the same as the old track. It's not anymore. Everything has changed. Mm -hmm.